Welcome back, everybody. So, when we left off, I had completed my cow barn. I have a couple cows in there. And today, I want to get started on some pig houses. And I'm saying pig houses because I've got three houses in mind. Because there are three pigs. At least the ones I have in mind. So I've set aside this area over here, and this is going to be where the pigs live. And first up, we have a straw house. So we are going to work on the straw house today. I've got this area marked off. And these are going to be pretty big houses, because... Uh, why else uh, would you build a house if you're not going to build it big enough to enjoy and relax in? So we have that. I think. So let's say the front door is going to be like right here in the middle. Or at least that's close to the middle. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So that would be the middle right there. So I thought this packed mud would actually go good against the straw. I think it does. So if you can guess, I'm doing the three little pigs houses. So we will have a house. The first one here is going to be of straw. The second house is going to be made of wood. And the third house will be made of bricks. Now I'm not going to bring in a wolf. And we're not going to tear these houses down. But I am going to put pigs in here so they can live. So, um, Let's see. I think think let's do this um, well actually let's go one more put a little porch on here and then like that so that'll be the porch so I'll have to redo the entryway here. And so this will be the entryway up to the house. Now I was debating, do I do the siding like that? Or do I do the siding like that? It'll be easier to do it up, right, you know, with the red line showing. I'm not sure if it would look better with this yellow texture. I think I'm going to do the red line. Because it's easier and I don't know what to do with the corners in. It's like a window there. I may have to go get some more straw. Because I think about out but you get the idea so this is what the house is going to look like so I think the pig will have like a sitting room here maybe a little fireplace and then a bedroom and a kitchen do I have any more straw I may have to go get straw oh I've got some more A window there. So if this is like the kitchen area. This would be like a bedroom area here. So no windows in the kitchen, but windows in the bedroom. So 
So, went ahead and finished up the walls. So there's my straw house on the porch here. I thought I'd just kind of do this. I'm gonna have to put lighting and stuff to melt all the snow, but the little pig will have a nice little entryway here. And then once we get up, oops. I think uh, spruce is going to be good for a roof. Yeah, let's just go, yeah, right up to the porch. Oh, dang it. I'm still not sure what to do for uh, landscaping out here. I don't know what. I'm, I'm just. I guess I'll just make it like any other house. I mean, I don't think little piggies have a special landscaping, uh, you know, flavor. they you know, they they like. I mean, I guess pools of mud and pools of water and mud would be about it. Because I think. But pigs do like to wallow in the mud. I'm not sure I want to do that around here. I mean, in the past I've used like podsol. Because I think it looks more like mud than actual, you know, the mud. The mud in the game is just like black blocks. I think the podsol actually looks more like uh, real mud. Kind of brown and you know, textured and mixed. There we go. And we'll do back. Same thing on this side. So I got some glass. One there. Just a few different types of panes. And I'm trying to figure out the lighting in here. Maybe... Um, instead of doing... Oops. Instead of doing like uh, beams across the top, I'm just going to do these little. Uh, oh, dang it. Got a little too excited with the axe there. I'm just going to do these fences across. There, that lights that up. Then you come in here. The little pig needs a door. And he's going to need a bed. So I think the bed will have to go over there. Let's, uh, let's see. If I put the bed over in this area, maybe I'll put the kitchen over here. Oops, where's that? There we go. So like a galley kitchen running that way. And Put in a table. Maybe I just do like a table right here. I think I need one more there. So you come in, 
we'll see that. So we have our table over here. I think our bed's going to go in the corner. And we'll have like a couch. Maybe a couch seating area there. And I may even stick a fireplace in that corner. And then we have our eating dining right there. Let's see if I do. Is that where we are? Yeah, there we go. Like that. And I think I'm going to. I forgot. Um, lantern. There we go. That should keep the snow off of there. And I think maybe if I do like a, a tall light on either side there. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then I'm going to stick the bed over here. Do a couple of those. I also had a sink. There, so there's the kitchenette. We have a sink. We'll put in tables like so. Oh, dang it. Yeah, so I think that little pig house is starting to look good. I'm going to put the fireplace. Oh, come on. Fireplace right there. And I may even... So if I do this, let's see, I'm trying to figure out how to get this hanging down like that maybe. See how that looks. Although you can't see the flame. I think I want it so I can actually see the flame. Do I have a silk touch? Silk touch, silk touch? No. Oh, I'm gonna need to get a silk touch. Yeah, oh there, I think the shovel work. We'll see. I don't know if the shovel works on a fire pit, although it should. I would think the shovel would work better on a fire pit. There. There. Oh, that's tight. Tight. Maybe, nope. Maybe I'll just do like two chairs like that. Or there, there we go. Oh yeah, a little settee sofa thing. I think this is a good house for a pig. Let's 
make a few flower pots. I don't think I need one of these. So that'll do nicely. Maybe one of these. And maybe that one. Looks like I think I'm going to put like a little bush there. Maybe the shrub here. A little bush there. And a bedside flower right there. So there we have our interior. This is uh, the first little pig's house of straw. So all we're missing is the exterior design. And then we'll be done. So let's uh, work on the outside. Real this. We've got lots of mossy carpet, so we can cover up all the snow. Although I shouldn't get snow right here because of the overhang. So that should be okay. I also have like some rooted dirt I can stick in a few places. Let's, uh, we'll do that. And I also have... this i think that would make it look a little uh i don't know dirty is that the word i'm looking for just stick a few of these blocks here i feel this is all gonna have to be boss right here it's gonna get it's gonna get snowy and i don't want it snowy I can always just stick flowers there because flowers are not going to get snow on them. I thought I was going to put the flowers up against the house, but it actually makes more sense to put them out here. Because it's just less spots for stuff to grow or snow to grow. There. We'll put, let's put those there. Not just any old dirt. Coarse dirt. Although I believe the coarse dirt still gets snow on it. So it may end up getting covered. It may not. Because I can always do this. So that'll take care of some of this. I'm being a little bit overkill right now because I'm just trying to make sure that we get uh, get all our coverage for the snow. And I guess I just have to take all of this out. Just a couple more we should be done. So that's the little piggy's house with the little piggy's garden. Boy, that tree came up weird, didn't it? Wow. I didn't go too overboard. I just did a few different types of blocks through here just to keep it, you know, kind of muddy, like pigs like. And then added a lot of trees and flowers and stuff. So trying to keep it simple. I'll have to keep an eye on it and see if I missed any snow. I think I do need to go on top of the trees and put some mossy carpet. But other than that, I think we are complete. I need to cut these limbs down too. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you are having a great day and I will see you later. Bye bye.